How to create a BAT12 straight pipe T using AutoCAD 2016. Hi, this is AC3D CAD. Please don't forget to subscribe after watching this video by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon. In this exercise, we're going to create a pipe T fitting which has the same size outlets at a 90 degree angle. We will be utilizing the following commands sweep, chamfer, fillet, circle, and line. We are also applying materials and lighting effects. To create a new drawing, you can either click this plus sign or go to the AutoCAD icon, click the drop down arrow, click new, and for metric template, click Akadisu 3D and click open. And go back to the ribbon and select view. Select tile vertically, click this window, go back to tile, tile vertically, and you can adjust your windows. In our vendor's drawing, the distance of the run from the center to the end is, uh, which is here, is 105 and from this center to the end or to the outlet is uh, 105 and M is also 105 the diameter of the run is which is the D is 114.3 and the diameter of uh, branch is 114.3 so let's start with um, line, type L for line, make sure your ortho, ortho mode is on, so it's one point, no, one zero five rather, enter, right click to repeat line, and 105 enter repeat line and from the middle bring your crosshair up and enter 105 type C for circle and sp specify center point and type D for diameter option and enter 1 14.3 and um, we are choosing schedule 80 so the thickness of our T is 8.55 so we're gonna offset the circle type O for offset enter and enter 8.55 click the circle and click the inside of the circle right click to accept highlight this these two circles and copy you can change this now to polar tracking um go to the ribbon and select sweep command highlight these two circles right click enter and select the path the same thing here highlight these two circles right click and repeat sweep and select path or first 
we have to combine these two lines by typing J for join, enter, combine these two lines, and then select sweep command again, highlight these two circles, right click to enter, and select the path. So go back to the ribbon, select union command, Combine these two objects. Now it's one object. Go back to the ribbon again and select subtract command. Highlight the object you want to keep. Right click and select the object you want to remove. Right click and there you go. In order to create the bevel, we have to use chamfer command. But first, I'm going to bring this to right view and make sure you are on parallel projection. And select um, 2D wireframe. Chamfer command. And select the first distance or the first edge click OK and enter 5.33 enter and uh, specify the second distance which is 6.95 enter and select the edge right click enter now you have your chamfer and do the same same process on both um, ends right click select chamfer select the first line click ok and um, the base surface chamfer distance of 5.33 it's now given press enter and enter again for the second distance and select this line right click enter same process here right click with the chamfer select the first line and uh, select OK uh, specify base base surface chamfer distance which is 5.33 just click enter and the second distance is 6.95 enter and select this line enter I'm gonna bring the realistic type materials I'm just gonna turn off the grid type um, materials I'm gonna use stainless steel I'm gonna close that Go to the ribbon and select visualize. Click that. Adjust exposure setting. Mm, turn on environment. Use background, select gradient, click three colors, maybe select this one, okay, maybe this one make it darker, 
okay adjust the sun location create shadow adjust that one adjust this again the sun location now we're done you have your bevel T Thanks for watching and again please don't forget to subscribe.